Hi everyone, I'm Sonana Rose and this is my YouTube channel, Natural Living with Sonana. Welcome if this is your first time here. In my YouTube channel, I share information, tips, and product reviews with you so that you can live a more healthy, sustainable, natural, and non-toxic lifestyle. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own hand sanitizer. This is a do-it-yourself video. It's going to be a quick video. So hang out with me and by the end of this video, you will have your own hand sanitizer that has the correct amount of alcohol in it that is recommended by the CDC and the World Health Organization to appropriately kill pathogens, germs, viruses, bacteria, anything that you may have come into contact with. So you may have heard that recently the FDA has been recalling several hand sanitizers because they tested them and found that they had methane in them, which is very dangerous and scary. So we want to make sure that we're steering clear of those. I will leave a link to that article in the description so that you can check that out if you would like to and just make sure that you haven't picked up any of those hand sanitizers while you were out shopping. And in addition, sometimes hand sanitizer has been quite difficult to find through this pandemic. So that's why it's good to know how to make your own, just in case you need to. Now the CDC does say that washing your hands is always the best way to protect yourself, to kill any pathogens, germs, bacteria that you have come in contact with. So wash your hands is always your first line of defense. But in the event that there is no sink and you cannot wash your hands, then hand sanitizer is a great second option. So that's why we're going to make hand sanitizer here. One thing I want to say before you get started, you want to make sure that all your tools and utensils are clean, that your workspace is clean, and you want to have minimal contact with your ingredients as you're mixing this up just to make sure that you don't contaminate your hand sanitizer while you're making it. So the CDC recommends that you use 91% isopropyl alcohol in order to make your hand sanitizer. There are some alcohols that have lower percentages in them out there, but you want to make sure you get 91% isopropyl alcohol. It's medical grade and it says first aid antiseptic on the bottle. You can also make hand sanitizer with ethanol alcohol, but you need to buy Everclear or something that is a very strong alcohol. You cannot just use vodka or the alcohols or liquors that are in your liquor cabinet. So I'm not going to do that. If you do want to do that, there are other videos on YouTube that you can search for to make that type of hand sanitizer. But today we're going to make it with isopropyl alcohol. 91% is what we need in order for a hand sanitizer to be effective according to the CDC and World Health Organization. We have to make sure that the hand sanitizer is at least 60% alcohol. You can also make it a higher percentage of alcohol by using three quarters of a cup of alcohol instead of two thirds of a cup. So in order to make it about 60%, then you need to use two thirds of a cup of alcohol and one third of a cup of your moisturizing ingredient. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the 75% alcohol mixture just to be sure that I have a high percentage of alcohol in my hand sanitizer. So that's going to be three quarters of a cup of alcohol and we'll add one quarter of a cup of our softening or moisturizing agent. And if you do want to purchase any of these items, I will put links to them in my description and you can easily purchase them on Amazon or you can get them at Walgreens or CVS or any of the grocery stores out there. These are pretty easy ingredients. If you don't already have them at home, you actually may have what you need in your home. And if you do, great, pause the video, go check, come back, and you can mix this up together with me. Or watch the whole video, make your shopping list, go get your ingredients, get them on Amazon, wherever you would like, 
and then you can come back and watch the video again to mix up your own hand sanitizer. If you are liking this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified when the next video comes up, and don't forget to share with your friends too. If you know someone who would love to make their own hand sanitizer, definitely share this video with them so that they can get the same great information that you are getting today. So we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of isopropyl alcohol to our measuring cup here. Okay, so there we go. That's three quarters of a cup. And then the next item to add is either aloe vera gel or glycerin. And I'm actually gonna do glycerin. I did try it with the aloe vera gel and mine didn't mix up very well. It's possible that it's because I tried to add the hydrogen peroxide and that didn't work out. You don't actually need hydrogen peroxide unless you're going to be using this in a clinic setting or a hospital setting, then the hydrogen peroxide acts like a preservative. But since we are not doing that here, I'm just going to skip that. I'm gonna be using this just for household purposes. So, I'm going to only put the glycerin in. So here we go. I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of glycerin. Let's see if we've got it here. Yep, that looks like it's right. Turn that back around so that you guys can see it. And then we can stir it up with our clean spoon. It does take a little bit of stirring to get it to mix and it does change the color of the alcohol just a little bit as well. Now you can add some essential oils if you want to. They are not required uh, but without them it does have a pretty strong alcohol smell so if that bothers you you may want an essential oil. If you are sensitive to essential oils, then definitely make it unscented. Depending on the essential oil that you do use, it may have some antimicrobial properties as well. So tea tree oil is a great one if you don't mind the smell of that. I have thyme. Thyme is another really good one if you want those antimicrobial properties. I like to put a little peppermint in. It's just very enlivening and gives you a little pick-me-up. So I'm going to put a little bit of peppermint. I also brought rosemary and cedar wood out here, but I think I might just do peppermint and lavender. So I think that will make a really nice scent. So I put like eight drops in. You don't have to put much. It really just depends. I like essential oils. They don't bother me. I'm not sensitive to most of them. Mmm, smells delicious. I love it already. So then I purchased this small little spray jar at my grocery store. So I'm going to fill this up with my new hand sanitizer here. There we go. It's perfect trying not to touch the sprayer there. Then I can shake it up and I'd like to just give it a little try. So let's see how it works. Smells a lot like alcohol. Feels pretty good. I can feel the glycerin, quite a bit of glycerin actually. So that's good because we don't, the reason you use these softening and moisturizing agents is because the alcohol can be so hard on your skin and you don't want that because cracks in your skin actually leave a pathway for pathogens and germs to get inside your body, inside of your skin. So we do want to be protecting our skin. That's why you don't really use straight alcohol unless you absolutely have to. So adding the glycerin is great. And I actually think that three quarters of a cup of alcohol with one quarter glycerin works really well because this even does leave a little bit of a glycerin feel to the hands. So I think any more than that would probably be a little too sticky. So I do also have 
a bottle left over from EO hand sanitizer. I did do a video about my favorite hand sanitizers. I'll put a link to that up here so that you can check that out if you want to too. It has some of my favorite hand sanitizers. EO is one of them. But I'm just gonna go ahead and refill this with my new hand sanitizer as well. I will have two spray sanitizers ready to go. That is great. So I've just made these two and then I still have some more. So I'm just gonna pour it into this canning jar and store it for later use. So when my other sanitizers run out. So look at that guys, we just made our own hand sanitizer. Now I am going to label this. Probably I'll keep it in the fridge, but it should be good just out at room temperature for a little while. I'm just gonna make sure and put it in the fridge. But there you go. That's how you make a hand sanitizer at home with these simple ingredients. It follows the CDC guidelines for at least 60% rubbing alcohol. And again, I will have links to all of these ingredients in my description. They will be Amazon affiliate links, so I will get a little commission if you click on them. That just helps to support my mission here on this YouTube channel so that I can keep providing this great information to you guys. And I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a little thumbs up. That really helps me out here on my channel. And again, subscribe, hit the bell so that you get the notifications for the next video and share with your friends, anyone you think this information might be helpful for. All right, thanks so much for stopping by everyone. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Take care and I wish you the very best of health. Bye friends, love you guys.